Hey everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be my review of the new Bright and Bold Pout Spoken Collection from Jaclyn Cosmetics. They did send this package to me in PR. I am so excited. We're going to be doing lip swatches of every single shade. We have an expansion to Jaclyn's liquid lipstick and lip liner collection. We also have a couple of other products in here that I'm excited to try out. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and let's go ahead and get started. So the new Bright and Bold Pout Spoken Collection will be releasing on JacquelineCosmetics.com February 3rd at 10 a.m. Pacific. It will be launching in Ulta stores and online as well as Morphe stores and online at later dates. I will have all of the specifics down below in the description box as well as pricing and all of that. So let's go ahead and dive in. We have seven new liquid lipsticks and seven new lip liners, 14 lippies in total. We also have a lip liner sharpener here and then this is a little makeup remover stick or a lipstick remover stick. <laughs> so we will be trying this out today. I'm going to do lip swatches of every single shade here and I'm also going to let you guys know price points and all of that. So yeah, the liquid lipsticks are going to retail for $20 each and they come in seven new bright and bold shades. They have a comfortable and high pigment matte finish according to this Jaclyn Hill Instagram post. Then we have the lip liners which will retail for $18 each. Again, seven new shades and they have a super creamy easy glide formula. Next we have the sharpener here which is a little cute pencil sharpener. It has the J and it does open up this way so you can empty out the pencil shavings. <laughs> this will be for sale and this will be retailing for $9. And then the last product in this launch is this little guy right here. This is the Pout Off Nourishing Lipstick Remover. This will be retailing for $14 and it says, our gentle yet effective formula to clean your pout with ease, a must have with any of Jaclyn's lip stick products. So like I said, I'm going to be lip swatching all of these. We're going to need this today. So let's go ahead, zoom in a little bit and get to swatching. You're gonna have to bear with me when it comes to application. I am not the best at applying bold lips, so my lip line might be a little bit uneven, but here we have the first shade. This is, once again, easy peasy. I have it swatched here. The liquid lipstick is on top, the lip liner is below. I'm just gonna keep the swatches going as far as I can so that we can see them side by side. But here is the first shade. It is so pretty. It's definitely more of like a pinky, like a deep pink shade. I actually have this little pamphlet here and I think there might be lip color uh, descriptions. So let's see, Easy Peasy is a bold, dusty rose. I feel like that's a good description of this lippy, so. Here we have Easy Peasy. I did break the first lip liner on the first go. It didn't break when I was lining my lips, but when I went to swatch it, I think I just pressed way too hard and it did break. This is a softer, very pigmented, very creamy formula, so keep that in mind. But I did get to test out the pencil sharpener already and it worked fantastic. Now we're gonna go ahead and test out the lipstick remover. This is the Pout Off Nourishing Lipstick Remover. Um, I don't know how you're supposed to use this, so hopefully we have some instructions in this pamphlet here. This lip product remover formula is packed with vitamin E to leave skin feeling smooth, jojoba oil to lock in moisture, aloe vera to calm skin, and pomegranate and bilberry extract to add hydration. So I don't think there are instructions, so I guess we will just apply this directly to our lips. It is like a clear formula. I don't even know what kind of formula. I don't smell anything, so I guess we'll just, oh, very, very, like, oily, but not in a bad way. It was way smoother than I thought it was going to be, so um, I guess I will attempt to wipe this off. This is, like, one of my makeup washcloths. Don't do this with a regular washcloth. <laughs> it's okay if this one gets stained. Um, okay. Okay. 
So first go, it took off a majority of the lipstick. I'm gonna go in with like a second round. If you were taking all of your makeup off, this would be a lot easier, but since I'm just trying to remove my lipstick, I have to be a little bit more careful when applying that so that I don't get it all over my face. And look at that, I got it all over my face. But I will say that it did remove the lipstick for the most part. There's a little bit around the edges, but like I said, I was trying to avoid the edges. My lips are stained a bit, but that's to be expected with deep colors or bold colors in my opinion. That's always happens to me no matter what the brand is. So I'm gonna try to clean this up and then we'll move on to the next shade. Next we have the shade, yes, B-I-T-C-H. This is a hot pink, like super, super hot pink. It is described as a bold neon pink and I feel like that is a very accurate description. This is absolutely stunning. It's quite opaque and I love the way these smell. They smell fantastic. It's kind of like a sweet vanilla flavor scent. Here we have the swatches, definitely much more neon, much brighter than the previous shade, but so far, so good. Next, we will be moving on to more of a red toned shade. This one is called Coming In Hot. Next, we have Coming In Hot. This is a very bold, bright, cool toned red. I love this color so much. I am not one for red lips, but this one is absolutely stunning. Here we have it swatched with the lip liner right beneath it. I love this color. This shade here is called You Guys. This is a very deep plummy color. It's described as a bold violet plum. This is definitely intense, definitely out of my comfort zone, but it is so pretty. The formula is fantastic. I love it. Oh, I have lipstick all over my teeth. That's embarrassing. Very bold, very fun. Here it is swatched. I'm noticing that the lip liners are slightly lighter than the liquid lipsticks. Even though they're the same color, they just appear a smidge less deep than the liquid lipstick formulas do, but so far it's been pretty consistent for all four of these shades. So once again, this is the shade You Guys. Next we have I'm In It, which is described as a bold neon rose. This is such a pretty color. I got it all over my face, so I'm gonna need to like re-foundation the entire lower portion of my face after this lip swatch, but this color is so pretty. Here it is swatched. I also got liquid lipstick like all over my sleeve. Where did it even go? Oh my goodness, my crate. Oh no, here it is. I got it all over my sleeve, so my swatches got a little bit messed up over here, but once again, this is the shade, I'm in it. This shade here is called In Control, and I think this one is my favorite. This is my favorite one from this collection, at least so far, but I think this will be my favorite. This is a bold coral red. I think it's so pretty. There's something rosy about it. I just love it. Here it is swatched on the back of my hand. I love this color. It's fantastic. 10 out of 10. Here we have the seventh and final shade. This is called No Rules and it is a bold orange red. At first when I saw it in the container, I thought this was gonna be a straight up orange and it is very, very orangey, but I definitely do see that red tone to it. This is not my kind of color. I do not like this shade on myself, but formula wise, it's very consistent and great as well as the rest of them. I think I'm gonna put the shade in control back on because that one was my favorite and then I will come back to you guys for final thoughts. 
So those were all of the lip swatches of the Bright and Bold Lippies. I hope you guys enjoyed that portion of the video. I did see some info on this card that I didn't read yet, so I wanted to go ahead and do that for you guys. So these are Bright and Bold hacks from Jack. So the first one says a monochromatic moment. Each pout spoken liquid lipstick in this launch comes with a flawlessly matching lip liner if you want an easy two-step monochromatic look. Next we have the ombre effect. This says if you're looking to turn your look up a notch, choose a slightly darker shade lip liner and a lighter lipstick. Voila, you've got added contrast, dimension, and an almost ombre effect. And then uh, finally we have powdery tips. I use the sharpener and only the sharpener with my lip pencils. It's specially designed to work with pout spoken lip liners, plastic barrels rather than wood for a sharper, cleaner result. When it's time to get fresh faced for bed, swipe the pout off lip remover over your lips and remove your lip product. So there was a little bit of added info there for you guys, but that was this collection. Overall, I am very impressed. I really like the shade range. There's a nice variety here. I wish I swatched these straight, but here are all of the swatches. We have some lighter ones, some deeper ones, some more bold neon shades, and then a few classic reds as well. So I do want to go ahead and swatch my Valentine's Day lippies from last year, was it? Was that 2021 or 2020? I honestly don't even remember. I'm going to swatch these, and then I'm also going to swatch my holiday liquid lips right below just to see if we have any any similarities there. So I have all of them swatched and I know it's probably gonna be hard for you to see if there's any similarities. Um, I see a few that look like they could be similar. These two shades from the holiday collection, Stocking and Flannel. These look slightly similar to the shade you guys from the new collection. They all have that like deeper berry tone but they're really not the same one has more of a brown undertone one has more of a red undertone and i would say the new formula or the new shade you guys has more of a purple like straight up purple undertone so although these are like similar types of shades i don't think there's any repeat there the undertones are quite different um, as far as like the orangier kind of shade no rules from the new collection and clingy from the valentine's day collection these look slightly similar i would say no rules is more orange and clingy is a little bit more of a corally kind of color they're pretty close though um it's hard for me to tell because one of them is still wet but they're definitely not identical um, if you like this type of shade, I feel like you could definitely use both of these, but I'm not someone who wears orangey lipsticks very often, so I don't think I would personally need both, but if you like this kind of color, I feel like you might as well have both of them, because <laughs> they are slightly different. Other than that, I don't really see any similarities. Um, obviously, they're all similar tones, but they're, I don't see any that look like they could be dupes for each other, so... There is that. I'm pretty sure that's everything. I think the liquid lips and the lip liners are fantastic. Love the formulas. If there's a color here that you're interested in, definitely pick it up. Um, I think the lip pencil sharpener is great as well. Like I said, I did break my first lip liner. I didn't break any other ones, just that first one. The whole tip just like broke off. Um, but then I sharpened it and it worked perfectly well. So I like the sharpener. I feel like for $9, it's worth it since it's specifically made for these lip liners as well. Um, and then we have the lipstick remover, which I actually liked. I thought this was going to be a little bit gimmicky, but it's so smooth on your lips. It feels very soft and I feel like especially when you're removing all of your makeup, this will come in handy. These lip colors do stain, so keep that in mind. But when I go to take my makeup off today, I'm definitely going to be using this and I'm just going to go all around my mouth and then go in with my cleansing balm directly onto that to help remove the lipstick. I think that's going to be the way to go with this product. Also, I used it seven times <laughs> today and uh, there's not even a dent in the product. So this will last you for quite a while from what I can tell at least. And I did several passes each time. Sometimes actually multiple times. So I probably use this more like 10 to 12 times today and 
can't even tell <laughs> so that was today's video i hope you all enjoyed if you did please don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up all the info will be down below in the description box i wanted to give a special thank you to my diamond members thank you so so much for your love and support if you guys are interested in becoming a member you can either click the join button below my video if you are on a computer or you can try the link in my description box so that's gonna be it. I love you all so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.